places like, well, let's uh, go to line seven. Uh, Mark from Park Ridge, uh, you got a question or a favorite uh, stand that uh, you grew up with? Good morning, folks. Hi. Yeah, one one is still in business, I believe, and it's Bobbo's Hot Dogs on Irving Park Road. What do you know the about one, that, Mr. Schwartz? Oh, Bobbo's is the best. Uh, it's a place that started in 1974, and uh, it was Phyllis Bartell who was ra- raising four kids as a single mom, and her son Richie has taken that over, and he yeah. also started another place uh, called Rand Red Hots. And I believe both those places in the last two months have been on Chicago's Best on television. How do you well, know ba- all Bobbo's, this? And Bob- how do you keep track of Bob- all this? <laughs> Bobbo's was Bobbo's was a little trailer on Higgins and River when I was going to high school in 1966. Well, that was probably the original Bob from Bobbo's. There you and, go. And uh, he's the one that sold the place, and uh, they turned yeah. it into a, you know, a, more of a restaurant. Nice little it, spot, yeah. How about yeah. the ranch, the I, hot dog ranch on Devon Avenue? Oh, that? man, yes. <laughs> I could, see, I can tell you about that because I go out on New Year's Eve with uh, the daughter... Yeah. And her husband of the 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 original owner, Is and that, right? uh, that was Isabel and Al Deutsch that started that in '52, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it you was a great that, place. Bob. This is where I point this out is, that uh, Bob Schwartz has yeah. no notes in front of him. Although you could, you could get all first, of this, you could get all the, of this from the book uh, that Bob wrote. Uh, <laughs> never put ketchup on a okay. hot dog, and this is why uh, we were talking earlier, what makes yeah. it, it unique, the Chicago hot dog stand, you don't talk about franchise owners like yes, we talk no. about the people that ran hot dog stands. Hold on, Mark, uh, we're going to yeah. get you some uh, Vienna beef uh, coupons, some uh, free hot dogs for your holiday weekend grilling, and uh, a shirt or an apron. Hold on, and we'll get uh, the information from you. Let's, uh, let's, let's continue Mark. to play uh, Stump Bob Schwartz. No, it's impossible. Uh, uh, Bob from <laughs> Schaumburg is on line one, uh, and and you got some yeah, uh, you hot dog today, memories, Bob? Bob? Go ahead. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, I wanted to I wanted to ask Bob about the uh, Vienna hot dog, uh, the one that's got the crunch in it. Is that the skinless? It's, or, or, or the natural. It's the natural casing. That's kind of the lifeblood of really what a, a true uh, Chicago hot, hot dog started out to be. And we still maintain the integrity of that. And I'd say about half of the operators use that. Not that there's anything wrong with the skinless hot dog, but uh, the one you're talking about is the one that has the crunch. You know, places like... Uh, uh, Bobos that we were just talking about, and Red Hot Ranch, and Gene and Jude's, and um, Poochie's, and all the places up north are using the uh, natural casing, even Dick Portillo. But the jumbo hot dogs you generally find are more of the skinless variety because it's a little bit different casing, it's a little tougher, and some people prefer the skinless because when you're eating a good hot dog, the ingredients are such that it still has a nice bite. As I mentioned, everything you want to know about hot dogs. Uh, Marion, you getting all this for your green shake, for your uh, healthy green shake? Oh, yeah. I started, some the, hot dogs? I started the morning with a green shake, uh, but I'll finish it off with something else. Bob, I don't know. Hey, Bob hey, brought food. Uh, Bob from Schaumburg, hold on. We'll get you some hot dog swag from Vienna, and thanks for I your call. Bob and I are going to have a double dog, and Mary Ann's <laughs> going to have her curds and whey. <laughs> uh, line four. Uh, hi, Dave from Cicero. Uh, what's up? Good morning. Good morning. I wanted Hi. to ask Bob about uh, Henry's Hot Dogs on Ogden Avenue, which is actually, which is actually Route 66 in Cicero. That's been there for many years. And Bob Odenkirk mentioned it on Better Call Saul uh, during last wow. season. Wow. Well, I got to tell you, show. I love Better Call Saul. Yeah. And Bob <laughs> Odenkirk is great. But I think you got me there. Henry's Hot Dogs. I remember Henry's, the old restaurants in Chicago, they with the 19-cent burgers, I think, or mm-hmm. uh, something like that. But the uh, Henry's in Cicero. A couple places in Cicero that are Ogden also Avenue. good. Um, uh, y- you have Stubby Scatchels. And that has great hot dogs and Italian beef, too. And that's at uh, Cicero and Cermak. I'm familiar with that. 
Happy eating there, uh, Dave. Hold on, we'll get you some coupons for Vienna uh, sausage products and uh, maybe a T-shirt and or an apron, too. And, uh, Bob, is the book still available? The book is definitely available. Never put ketchup on a hot dog. You can either go to Bob at the hotdogbook.com it's a website and push where do i get it and it'll take you right to a a link at amazon prime for it and uh, you can also get it on the vienna beef website uh, ViennaBeef.com. You can get all kinds of good stuff uh, there, including food, and uh, as well as Weenieware and the book that we're talking about. Uh, so it's uh, it's available. And I uh, was very honored to, and this is on my resume, first line of my resume that I wrote uh, of the foreword for Never Put Ketchup on a Hot Dog. And in the latest edition, Bob also wrote a, a an afterword. Oh, that's right. So, which is kind of neat. And I uh, got the beginning and uh, Bob's take on hot dog stands uh, many years ago and what it's all about now. So uh, I think it's great. I know you don't want to hear that. I grew up eating hot dogs with ketchup yeah. and cheese yeah. on them. Well, not, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that was in Miami, though. <laughs> and they were also, they were grilled in an oven. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. I'll so. put that out of my mind. I'll have nasty dreams they, about it They were trying it to treat it. My mom was trying to treat it like a chorizo. Happy hot dog eating, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Bob Schwartz, thanks as always. And uh, we'll be back to say adios right after this. 